now that we got that all out the way, let's start off with this one single eyeshadow by ColourPop. I've been having this for a while now, you guys. And we're going to move over to face products. We're going to start off with the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. I do have the new one, but I wanted to go ahead and finish up the original one. And as you guys can see, there's a good dent in it. Now moving on to my Black Radiance True Complexion. I've used all of the contour, but the sculpt and highlighter is left, and I'm determined to use that for something. Highlighter, I could use up the sculpt. I don't know, but I'm I'm gonna try. We're gonna move over to setting sprays, and we're gonna start off with this Pixi Wake uh, Wake Up Vitamin Mist. You guys, the sprayer on this is ridiculous. So that's the only reason why I want to use this up. I spray it on my beauty blender and then use it on my face because I can't just spray it directly on my face or it'll shoot me in one spot. So I want to use it up. Olay Mist. I learned this from Andrea Renee and mm, I don't like it as much as I thought I would, but... I mean, we're going to use it up. We have it. We're going to get rid of it. And we're almost done with it. Moving on to the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. You guys, I think this makes my skin itch. So I want to go ahead and use it up since we're already at the end of it and just be done with it. I don't think I will repurchase it at all. But I'm going to use it up. Now this product, you guys, I'm looking to repurchase it. But I cannot repurchase it until I am completely done with it. This is one of the best drugstore setting sprays out there. And as you can tell, I'm just like right at the end of it. So I'm ready to repurchase already. This LA Girl setting spray, you guys, is not my favorite. But I bought it, so I want to use it up. It is a small bottle, and I'm grateful for that, and I'm almost done with it, but it doesn't seem to work whatsoever. Now we're going to move on into brow products, and we don't have many. Not many at all. This Wet n Wild Clear Mascara that I use for my eyebrows, you guys know I've been having this for a while. <laughs> a while. So I need to go ahead and use it up. You guys see that it's all dirty and nasty because of the coloring from my eyebrows. But you guys, that was one of the brow mascaras that I loved for a long time. So I need to use it up and be finally done with it. Okay, be done. All right, this LA Girl Gel Eyeliner in Black, it is just not... It is just not what I thought it was going to be. I tried to use it for my eyebrows because you guys know I love to use black in the eyebrows, but it just didn't work. So I'm going to try to use it as eyeliner. That's just it to it. <laughs> my Kat Von D Lock It Brow Whatever Brow Gel and Walnuts. You guys, I've been loving this for a while, but I've been having it for longer than a year. So I need to be done with it and i'm almost hitting pan on it but i gotta hurry up before it dries out now we're gonna move on to the lonely three eyeliners that i have and this one is gonna be the lancome i don't know what it is it's in a whole nother language you guys know how lancome is but i am almost done with it i've been rocking with this for a very long time so i need to use it all the way up i got to and then we have the L'Oreal Silkamist in charcoal. You guys, I have another L'Oreal Silkamist liner, and it's in black, but this one is in charcoal. And I don't think I noticed it when I bought it, but since I got it, I need to use it up instead of letting it go to waste. Now, this one is a LA Colors um, eyeliner, and the name and everything wore off, but I think I put this one in my brow drawer so that I can use it more for my brows than my eyeliner but it is an eyeliner and I got a lot of product left 
moisturizers we only have two okay so this first one you guys i've been using for a really long time and i like that it had the spf in it and it's supposed to brighten up your skin and all that throughout the day is by garnier i like it but i don't like it because it kind of gives like a white cast once you massage it all into your skin it kind of gives you a white cast but it also works real good as a moisturizer so i just want to hurry up and finish it up i remember getting it in like an influencer box or something like that so because it was sent to me because i received it i want to use it up now my it cosmetics confidence in a cream this was in a boxy charm you guys i have gotten this not too long ago but the only reason why i want to use it up is because the top the top lid as you can tell is cracked so i don't want the cracked part to dry up all of my moisturizer with the air that was seeping in and stuff so i want to just go ahead and try to use as much as i can <clears throat> before that air gets to it so you guys we got a lot of concealers but the good thing about the concealers is most of them are already almost completely done like this wet and wild photo focus in dark cocoa you guys we're already scraping it and i do have a backup of this but i want to go ahead and finish this one because i haven't really showed it no love in like the past six months my favorite tart shape tape in tan deep sand i need to use this up when i found out that they came out with this shade i bought it and i was using it at first and loving it and then i just stopped using it i guess because i was getting i was you know purchasing other concealers to test out and stuff so i need to use this up and i do believe i will repurchase this just to say all right now my color pop no filter concealer and dark 40 you guys y'all see that we're barely we're already like damn near to the end but you guys i've had this for about a year as well i think but i want to go ahead and use this up as well i would repurchase but i think i want to get a different shade it has an olive undertone so I think I will get a different shade. The Collab Flawless Concealer that I got from Sally Beauty. This is a very good one, but we're almost at the end of it too. So I might as well use it up and be done with it. I don't think I will repurchase this because there is no lighter shade that would suit me. But Mocha is really a good shade. It's just an everyday type of concealer, not a highlight and lift concealer. the maybelline fit me 30 cafe you guys i have 30 cafe i have honey i have i think it's ebony or mahogany i have different mini shades of this concealer this is one of my favorite concealers in the drugstore i want to go ahead and use this up i think this is like my third or fourth bottle since i even started youtube and as you can tell we're running very low so i'm proud of myself that I think I will be able to use a lot of these concealers up before the year is over and before they go bad. That is my whole goal, to use up stuff before it actually goes bad. Now moving on to my MAC Correct and Conceal Palette, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you and don't judge me. Don't come for me. I think I've had this for about two, three years. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. But this is one of the best palettes to have, especially if you're a makeup artist. I did not use this on clients. I only used it on myself. And as you guys could tell, we're almost done with it. The only two shades that I really need to work on is the yellow and the orange. I use every single color, but the yellow is one of my least used one. So I'm going to, you know, focus on using every last one of these up. And then we have the Ruby Kisses Face Creator, the 3D Face Creator. It's a concealer palette, and it's supposed to be two different shades in it, but I done mixed it so many times that you can't even tell that they're two different shades. 
but I like this. This reminds me and makes me think of a dupe for the MAC palette that y'all just seen. This is really creamy and thick. A little does go a long way. I use it for my eyebrows only to clean up my eyebrows. So I'm going to focus on using it up. Now my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, you guys. Same thing goes for the um, palette, the MAC Conceal Palette. I've bought it around the same time. You guys, I don't use this as a concealer. I actually use it for my creasing. And even though it's a full bottle, I'm not determined to use up the whole bottle by the end of the year. But I do want to get more use out of it as much as I can. Now, one of my favorites. This is the Absolute Radiant Cover Highlighter. You guys, I think I got this off of Shop Miss A or something like that. I really want to find this again because this is one good concealer. And I hate that it's such a small bottle, but I do need to go ahead and finish it up because I've had it for at least a year. And I want to say I got it from Shop Miss A, but I'm going to go find it again because I really would repurchase it. But I don't want to repurchase too much of anything until I start using up some of my stuff. It's the perfect shade and everything. I love this concealer. If you guys heard of it or tried it, comment down below and let us know your thoughts. My MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, same thing, about three years ago. I haven't used it. Well, I used it a lot, but I stopped using it. And I don't know why, because it is a nice concealer. And I think it's in NC45. Yeah, NC45. So I need to go ahead and just finish it off. Now, one of my newer concealers is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. I've had it. I loved it. Now it's time to use it up and move on with my life. I remember getting all of the Fenty shipments, um, the full collections when Fenty first dropped, and I got everything. So since I already done fell in love with everything and, you know, did my reviews and everything, it's time to just use it up and move on. Now let's go to the pressed and loose powders. You guys, I cannot stand this Rimmel Stay Matte loose powder. Andrea Renee turned me on to this too, and I just don't like it. But I am going to try to use as much as I can before I just actually throw it away. I still have a lot of product left, but I do want to keep the container to put a different loose powder in it. So I will keep you guys updated on how this ends up working out for me I don't know and then my black radiance bronze glow press powder you guys this is one of my favorites as you can see is we already hit pan on it I use it for an all over face powder and it is a beautiful velvet look I love it I already hit pan on it and I want to finish it up because there is other black radiance powders that I do want to try but I have at least six powders in my collection from Black Radiance already, and I can't buy no more until I start using these up because if not, I'm just going to keep going. Do you guys remember this? The Revlon Nearly Naked Press Powder. If y'all remember this, give this video a thumbs up. This used to be my jam. I have a backup. But I don't want to open a back up until I finish this one. I do feel like this one is starting to lose its color. But as you could tell, this was one of my favorites. Look how dirty it is. Y'all could tell this was one of my favorites. And it really was. It was one of my jams. And then I got into the world of makeup and forgot about it. So we're back on the Black Radiance Soft Focus Press Powder and Mip Chocolate. You guys, I'm telling y'all, these things are bomb black radiance has never failed me when it came to the pressed powders and i'm in love when i say i have about five six backups and it's these products it's these right here and i just can't get enough of them i hit pan that black dot is showing me where i started and in about three months <clears throat> i will update you guys and let y'all know where i'm at with it this is the second one, Creamy Bronze. It's the same soft photo focus, not photo focus, soft focus finishing powder. 
same thing. I love this powder. The black dye lets me know where I started. And in about three months, I'm going to let you guys see where I've, you know, taken it. And I'm actually currently using this one right now. Let's move on into lip products. You guys, I got a lot. I got a lot. Okay, so the very first product we're going to talk about, yes, it is a nipple cream. Okay, this is for breastfeeding mothers who nipples chap up. But uh, somebody on YouTube said that this was really good for your lips. So I bought it and I wanted to try it. And it's not better than my Laneige lip balm, but it's still a full bottle. I bought it. I need to use it. I'm going to try to use as much as I can. That's just all I can say about it. This Buxom, I think they're like velvet lip, lip, uh, lip, liquid lipsticks. This one is in Centerfold, one of my favorites. I do have a mini collection of the Buxoms I bought maybe two years ago and never opened them until recently. So I was like, you know what? I need to start using them instead of using them as decoration. I need to actually use them. So that's my goal is to, you know, use these liquid lips up. Oh, they're called whipped. Wildly whipped, lightweight liquid lipsticks. And I like them. I, I like them, but I just don't use them. So, you guys, I have so many of these Maybelline baby lips. Oh, my God. I have, I can't even read it, something peach. Um, I have a lot of them. Life's a peach. And I have to, have to, have to use these up. I have to use them up. I had them for way too long. All of them still smell good, but I need to use them up. This one is taupe with me, you guys. I just have to. I have so many of them. I got the whole collection. I was on a hunt for them when they first came out, and I haven't used them all up. So before they go bad, I got to. This one is Bear Chic. This one is Fuchsia Flicker. Pinkaboo. Lilac Lumi. And Fab and Fuchsia. I have to use them all up, you guys. So moving on to the Nika K True Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't know how to pronounce this name, so I'm not even going to try it. But I had this for a very long time. Found it in my beauty supply store. And I need to use it up before it goes bad. That's just what it is. Everything needs to be used up before it goes bad. So here we are with the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in Salem. One of my favorite colors. I've had this for a while, so it's time for me to focus on it and use it up. But I really love Salem. My Kat Von D. Um, I forgot what these lipsticks are called. But this lipstick is in the shade Muse. I was gifted this from a friend. And I was happy that it was a mini because I really don't use tube lipsticks no more. But this is a pretty rosy nude. So I need to go ahead and try to use it up. And of course, it's not that much left. So I think I can make it work. Now for this Nika K Matte Silky Stick, it's a lipstick. Um, I forgot the name. Oh, Irish Coffee is what it's called. I still got a lot of product left in this one, but you guys, I've had this for a while. Like, that's just what it is. I had it for too long. Now, this Kat Von D, I had for way too long, you guys. I can't remember Vampire, I think it is. I, I just got to use it up, but it is one of my favorite fall lipsticks. So, hopefully, when fall rolls back around, I could just go ham with this color and use it all up now we're going to move on into primers primers is one of my favorite but i'm not getting a lot of use out of them this for Solly, um unicorn elixir you guys it's like a hat chew amount of left so i'm not even going to talk about that because it's about to be done with this Too Faced Hangover RX, 
face primer. I had it for too long. It is a travel size and I still haven't finished it up. That's just the sad part about it. It's a really good primer, but I just haven't used it up. What is wrong with me? I have to start using my makeup, you guys. The Ruby Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Face Primer is one of the good face primers that I found at the beauty supply store as well. I use this stuff so much, but a little does go a long way, and I just haven't seemed to finish it. So I got to. The Too Faced Primed in Peachy Cooling Matte. You guys, I did a review on the Peachy Collection when all this came out. I got the primer and the eyeshadow palette, and look how much I got left. And as you tell, as you can tell, everything has a sticker on it so that I know that it's a part of the project pan. I just use my sticker books that I get from Happy Planner and just stick everything so that I know it's a project pan. Now, the Benefits Professionals Matte Rescue is a damn good primer, and I don't understand how I haven't used this one up. I have used up one of them before and that's what made me go and repurchase it and now that i have the second one i still have a lot left like what is wrong with me my maybelline master prime this is the blur and illuminate y'all know i love maybelline there's going to be another maybelline primer i can't say anything bad about the primers but i just need to use them that's it this one, I could say I so, so like because you guys know I'm not like a illuminating type of chick, but it's not like a overboard illuminate, so I don't know why I don't use it. As well as this Master Prime Blur and Pore Minimizer, it really does blur your pores and everything, so I need to use it up, and I think I did good because now I'm at a, like half a bottle. Now, this is one of my favorites. I cannot repurchase this until I finish it. This is the best primer and the most expensive primer in the drugstore. And I have to buy it again, but I can't buy it again until I finish it because it'll be me wasting my money. That's just how I feel. <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all had this before. And then the last product, of course, will be the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Kathleen Lights hyped this up years ago, and everybody went out and bought it, including me. And I got very little left, so I need to finish it up. But would I repurchase it? No, I just wouldn't repurchase it. But I hope you guys enjoy. If y'all love that I'm doing this Project Pan 2020, let me know down below in the comments. And let me know your thoughts. What are you using up? What are you getting used up? I'm not on a no buy. But I am on a low buy. I'm only purchasing new releases. That's it. So y'all check out the other videos. Subscribe, like, hit the bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Keep shining. Don't forget to keep shining.